Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to another New Makeup Sunday. So I hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving this week. For those of you who celebrate, um, ours was not so great, unfortunately. Um, we were supposed to go to Long Island and visit my husband's family and my son came down with a cold on Sunday and he had a fever all the way through the week. He wasn't in school all week. And then on Thanksgiving, he still had the fever and a really horrible cough. So we ended up in urgent care actually just to get him checked out and make sure that he wasn't getting an infection because that fever was not going away. And as it turns out, um, you know, his lungs were clear. He was okay. He just had a really, really bad cold. My husband and I are actually fighting it at this point. I have a bit of a sore throat, a little bit of a runny nose, so I'm hoping that it doesn't turn into something too, too bad and I can fight it off for the most part. So anyway, we just stayed home for Thanksgiving. We didn't want to infect anybody else and uh, we've just been pretty much in the house since Monday, so I'm just feeling really stir crazy right now, but my son is on the mend. He's been fever free for two days, so we can finally go out and enjoy ourselves a little bit. So anyway, I have a bunch of new things to share with you that came in throughout the week, so we're gonna go ahead and cut to that footage. I also just wanted to mention really quickly, if you didn't see my um, thankful for you video that I posted earlier in the week, definitely go and check that out because I'm giving away a ton of products. I have 10 giveaways going on, so head over and check out that video for sure because um, it ends tonight. So anyway guys, let's go ahead and see what I got this week. Good morning guys, it's Monday and I just got my Colleen Rothschild order in the mail. I had ordered the Retinol Supreme Night Oil last week when she had a sale on anti-aging products and now this week it's even less expensive with Black Friday. I think it's only $59.50 and it's regularly like $85. So this is fantastic. If you haven't seen my skincare videos yet, I mentioned this in almost every single one. It's like holy grail for me. This is my second bottle of it now and I just am obsessed because it makes my skin so glowy and and even though it's retinol, it doesn't cause the irritation and peeling that other retinols do. So it's just hands down the best retinol treatment I have ever used. It's amazing. Um, and then I also got this really cute package from Doll 10. They sent me over this super soft, cozy hoodie as well as some products. So I just wanted to share what those are with you guys really quickly. This says Brighten Your Beauty Lip and Cheek Collection. So it has a hydrogel lipstick and a hydrogel cheek balm. So let's open these up and take a look. So here's the lipstick. This is in the shade Knockout. It's this gorgeous pink color, and this is what it looks like on. You can see just like how hydrating this is. It looks so super shiny, and I can't wait to put this on my lips. It felt super buttery just swatching it, um, and it's very, very pigmented. So this is the Hydrogel Cream Balm in the shade Spellbound, and then this is what it looks like next to the lipstick. So it's just a gorgeous complimentary color. These will go so beautifully together. I think they are gorgeous. All right, so next in the box is the Shape Your Smooch five-piece lip liner collection. These are Hydrolux lip liners, so um, let's go ahead and swatch these as well. Okay, so here are the five lip liners that you get, and then I just went ahead and swatched them all. So from left to right, these are Star, Hollywood, Fame, icon and big shot and it's just such a pretty collection of nudes and pinks and from what i've heard about these so far is that they're super creamy but also really really long lasting and then last but not least is their elevate your eyes five piece eyeliner collection so let's go ahead and check these out all right so here are all the eyeliners and then i just swatched them on the back of my hand so you get like a deep mocha brown a purple a black a bronze and then a navy blue so Really excited to try out all of these new products. Good morning guys, it's Tuesday and I just got a box from CoverGirl and they sent over this adorable, cute little stuffed bunny and it's to celebrate them becoming cruelty free and leaping bunny certified. So here it says that CoverGirl is proud to announce we are the biggest makeup brand to achieve leaping bunny certification in partnership with Cruelty Free International. All of our products everywhere were sold. We are what we make up, makeup wearers and makers alike. So it just says that the Leaping Bunny certification is the best guarantee that products have not been tested on animals either by CoverGirl or our suppliers. We underwent a rigorous audit of our supply chain because this was an important, necessary endeavor for us. We believe cruelty-free beauty choices should be available and affordable for all. So that is absolutely amazing. I hope that more large brands, especially the drugstore brands, will follow suit. And um, somebody over here who has been sick with a cold the last two days and has been out of school is really wanting this. 
Good morning, guys. My Sephora order just arrived, and I ended up getting the Glow Pro device from Beauty Bio last week during the Sephora sale. I still had a 20% off, so this is on the expensive side. It's $199 for the device, and then you get a few skincare samples along with it. And then I also picked up the lip attachment that goes along with it. They have a lip attachment, an eye attachment, and then one for the body as well. The face attachment comes with it, just the regular one, but the lip one just looked interesting because it goes along with the lip serum that I had gotten a couple weeks ago I showed in one of my Sunday hauls, and I've been using that now for the last few weeks and loving it. It definitely smooths out my lip lines really well and sort of plumps up my lips, so what you're supposed to do is use this right before that, and then it helps that to sink in a little faster. So if you don't know about microneedling, what it is is these tiny little needles Whoa, that are inside the device. Um, let's see if I can get like a close up here so you can see them. Um, so they're not supposed to hurt, but see like all those tiny little needles on the device. What you do is you're just supposed to roll this over your face. I think 60 seconds a day is all it takes, but these little needles make tiny little holes in your skin, like tiny little channels. And those one, help your skincare to penetrate down deeper through the layers. And two, it's supposed to sort of make, it sounds bad, but it's supposed to sort of make little wounds in your skin so that your skin feels like it needs to heal itself. And then in doing so, it produces more of the collagen and elastin, which helps to smooth out wrinkles. So it's sort of like a twofold approach. This also has red light therapy, the LED red light, and that's also supposed to stimulate your skin to make collagen. So as I'm rolling it along my skin, it doesn't hurt at all. It feels maybe just slightly prickly, um, but nothing like extreme. It really doesn't hurt that much. So I was excited to try this out. I've read really, really good reviews about it. If you were to go to a dermatologist and get a microneedling treatment, I think it's like $500 or something. So $199 for this and you can do it at home. I feel like it's a lot more reasonable. So I thought what I would do is test this out for the next 30 days. So I'm gonna take a before photo today or tomorrow whenever I start using it. And then I'll do another photo at the end and see if I've seen any results from it. And I'll do the same thing with the um, lip attachment. So on the back here, they show a few before and afters that look pretty promising. Um, so there's that. They also say um, it actually works. It says it stimulates skin's natural regenerative response, resulting in visibly firmer, smoother, younger looking complexion. It enhances absorption when product is applied immediately after use. Just 60 seconds, three times a week on target areas. Use at night after you cleanse and prior to skincare. Um, it says it's painless. It gently parts the skin cells, creating thousands of painless microchannels, resulting in bouncy new skin. That it's backed by science. It combines LED red light technology and vibrotactile stimulation. Yeah, that's the other thing. It does kind of vibrate a little bit to enhance cellular turnover, to enhance cellular turnover for clinically proven results. And then forget booking appointments or paying hundreds of dollars for one microneedling treatment. You can now glow anytime, anywhere. So um, it says here during the study, 100% felt that Glow Pro helped to stimulate their skin's natural collagen. 97% reported an improvement in skin's firmness. 97% felt their skin looked younger. And then 93% saw an improvement in the evenness of their skin tone. So what you get is the Balance pH Balancing Cleanser, the Glow Pro device, you also get a mini of the peptide filling sphere serum. So this says organically identifies and repairs damage deep within the skin. It has time-released retinol and volumizing filling spheres to help fill and plump the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. And then you also get this cream. It says natural vitamin C helps brighten an even skin tone, rich in natural plant extracts to help retain moisture and repair dry, dull skin. And then I also just wanted to mention too that they give you this little bottle here. It's empty. You're supposed to fill it with rubbing alcohol. And then after you use it, you're supposed to spritz the heads with the rubbing alcohol to sterilize because if you think about it, you're using this to create tiny little wounds in your skin. You don't want bacteria getting in. So it's really important to make sure that you sterilize the device every time you use it. So anyway, I will definitely let you guys know and do a video on this hopefully next month once I've had a chance to try it out. Hey guys, I just got a box from Mally Beauty and this was inside. I haven't opened it up yet. I figured I would just go ahead and do that on camera with you guys. So let's see what's inside. Okay, so first there's a note. Let's just see what this says. 
It says, Jennifer, happy holidays from Mally Roncal and the Mally Beauty team. Can't wait to see the looks you create with our latest collection, Let It Snow, available exclusively at Kohl's. This is exciting. Let's see what's in here. Okay, so first up, it says, Let It Snow eyeshadow palette. Oh, I love her eyeshadow palettes so much. All right, so here's the outer packaging. Super cute. And then inside... Okay, so this layout is just like her Muted Muse palette, which I am obsessed with, and also the Mallywood palette um, that I talked about a while back. So this just looks like really beautiful kind of smoky tones. It's very cool toned as well, um, but you have your gold shade, a bronze, cocoa, an arctic wine shade. That's really pretty. That These two are mattes. You have sugar plum, which is just a really beautiful like plum shimmer. Ice Queen, which is like a satin ivory shade. And then you have Icy, which would be a really beautiful transition. It's almost like a grayish color. And then Snow Angel, which would be a beautiful highlight. And one thing that I love about these palettes that she has is that these larger ones could also be used on the face. Um, so let's go ahead and just swatch a couple shades. I'm really, really curious to see. Oh my goodness. These palettes are amazing. If you haven't tried them, I highly recommend picking one up because they are just the most beautiful formula. There's hardly any fallout to these shades at all, and they blend like a dream. They're just so nice, super pigmented as well. So let's go ahead and swatch a few more. I wanna see what the mattes are like, because these kind of like wine shades are sometimes difficult. Yeah, I mean, it just glides on like velvet. I'll go ahead and put all the links down in the description box below in case you wanna check these out at Kohl's. All right, and then next up, we have the Let It Snow Kiss Me Tinted Lip Oil 3-Piece Collection. So it looks like it has three shades, Cherry Pop, Watermelon, and Crystal Clear. And it says, tint your lips with this beautiful conditioning oil from Mally just in time for the holiday season. Lightly tinted with color, this lightweight texture instantly melts into lips without feeling tacky, giving you soft, kissable lips with a high-gloss payoff. All right, so let's open these up. Okay, so there's what the tubes look like. These are really just sleek and pretty. Um, so this one is watermelon. Let's just swatch them all. Why not, right? Okay, very glossy. It feels nice and thick too, which I really like in a lip oil because um, I hate those thin ones that just kind of go into your lips and disappear. So this has kind of like, um, like a sugar cookie scent. It smells really, really good. All right, and then this one is crystal clear. So let's try this one out. I just wanna see mainly what it smells like. I mean, it's totally clear, so. Ooh, this one has a nice peppermint scent to it. So I guess they're all a little different. That's cool. All right, and then this one is watermelon. Oh no, cherry pops. Ooh, that one is so pretty, wow. This one Huh, it smells like watermelon actually. That's funny because I would have thought the one called watermelon would smell like watermelon and this one would be like the sugar cookie scent, but um, that's funny. But either way, it smells really, really good. I think they all smell amazing and uh, I don't know, can't wait to play with them and see what they're like. All right, and then last but not least is the Let It Snow Evercolor Shadow Stick Extra Six Piece Eye Collection. Um, so this, you're getting um, Burnished Bronze Timeless Taupe, which I have, that one is amazing. Champagne Dune, Sand Drift, and Thistle. So let's open these up. One thing about the Shadow Stick Extras, and I've recommended these for years. If you read my blogs back in the day, I was always talking about these. I still use them all the time to this day because they are so good. I think they retail for like $25 a piece, which is expensive, but they are definitely worth it. And I'm guessing that this kit is way, way less than that. These are normally how I get them. I never pay full price and just get an individual one. I always get these kits because they're usually a much better deal, but these do not crease. They don't budge. Once they're on your eyes, they stay put. And I love using them as a base, like for shimmer shades. It really helps them to pop and look more vibrant or just using them on their own, like on easy makeup days. They're amazing. So this one is Thistle. That's just like a really beautiful, like cool tone purple shade. And then this one is Sand Drift. Oops, I totally am not <laughs> good at swatching right now. And that one's like a cooler tone taupe. It's kind of like a taupe shimmer. 
that's gorgeous as well. These are also beautiful on like the lower lash line because they don't smudge. So sometimes when I put shadow down there, it ends up on my face, but these stay put all day. All right, so this one is Dune. That's a really gorgeous brown as well. All right, and then this one is Champagne. Really pretty gold. This is Timeless Taupe, which like I said, I already have, but I could definitely use another one. And I love that they give you the matte taupe and then also more of like a shimmery taupe. Really, really pretty. And then this one is Burnished Bronze, which I also have, but again, could probably use a new one at this point. So these are all super gorgeous wearable shades, which I love. Sometimes these kits that she has include like a really deep dark color that I wouldn't wear too often, but like any of these I would wear every single day. So really, really nice collection overall. So I'll link everything in the description box below. But anyway, if you guys wanna see me do like a look with all of these new products, let me know and I could definitely put that on the list. I also got my order from HS and I had ordered this snow forest set from a brand called Beekman 1802 and they are a brand out of New York I think upstate New York that sells goat milk bath and body products and if you've ever tried goat milk soaps and lotions they are extremely extremely hydrating and great for dry skin so I saw this gift set and I thought it would be perfect to put some of these in our guest bathroom and also my husband loves goat milk soaps like those handmade soaps because they're really moisturized and I have to say even though I normally use body wash if we have a goat's milk soap in the bathroom I tend to use that more than my body washes because they're just so creamy and so moisturizing for your skin so this particular scent snow forest I wasn't sure what it was gonna smell like the description said something about like pine needles and freshly fallen snow or something and I would say that's pretty accurate it smells mostly of pine needles with maybe just a hint of freshness but um, overall it's definitely a pine scent it reminds me of the holidays so in this set you get three of their soaps a whipped body cream a hand cream a hand wash and then a goat's milk lotion so I haven't had the chance to try any of it yet but I can definitely let you guys know whether you want to see a video on this or maybe I'll just let you know at the end of the month when we do the roundup I mainly just wanted to show this to you quickly because it's a really nice gift set and they have a bunch of these over at HSN and if you know somebody who likes handmade lotions and soaps or if they really like a holiday type scent like this um, it's just a great gift idea and it's something that is unisex too so it could be for a man or a woman if you like those more earthy woodsy types of scents I think you would really enjoy at least the scent of this I don't know about the products yet but they seem to have really good reviews so anyway just wanted to show you guys this really quick I also got a box in PR from Elemis and they sent over their beauty sleep trio so let's go ahead and open this up and see what's in here Okay, so inside you get the Nourishing Omega Rich Cleansing Oil, which I have not tried yet. I'm really excited about that. Also the Peptide 4 Night Recovery Cream Oil, which is one of my favorite products from them. I really, really enjoy that stuff. This will be my third bottle of it. It's awesome. As well as the Peptide 4 Eye Recovery Cream, which I have been using lately. They had sent me a tube a couple of weeks back. So I've just started to use that recently and I'm really enjoying that as well. So this is a really cute little gift set. I'll link it down in the description box below. I believe it's available at Ulta. And then they also sent over their Joyful Glow. Is this a candle? Oh my gosh, yeah, I didn't even know that they had candles. So this says, bring a soft festive glow to your home with the warming aromatics of vanilla, orange, and cinnamon. That sounds like it's gonna be so good. I love warm scents like that. So here's what the candle looks like on the outside. Really, really pretty and festive. It almost smells like you're baking gingerbread cookies, but there's also that slight hint of citrus in there. That is really, really good, you guys. All right, so I'm gonna link everything down below in case you're interested in checking any of these out, but um, Elemis is just an awesome brand all around. They're a little bit more on the pricey side, but I've always really, really enjoyed their products. And then the last thing I got this week is the Caliente palette from Glamlight. This is brand new. I think it just launched last week. So here's what the outer packaging looks like. I've just been really super impressed with their eyeshadows lately. I think they're super intense. They remind me a lot of Juvia's Place. So um, let's check this out. This is super colorful. Wow. Oh my goodness. If you love bright shadows, I think you're going to like this one. Let's take a look at some of the uh, shades. I just want to swatch a couple. Wow, look at that pigment. That is intense. 
And I love the names too. This one is Como La Flor, like um, Selena. Let's try this yellow because yellows are always like super tricky. Not bad at all. It's really not that patchy. That's amazing. There's like a shimmery yellow as well. <gasps> so gorgeous. You guys, this palette, if you love color, this is amazing. Look at that. Let's try some more shimmer shades too. Let's try this blue one down here. All right, so I do have a code for Glam Light to save 15%. So if you think you might be interested in this palette, um, my code will be down below. But also if you want me to do a review on this, maybe like a really colorful look or something, let me know in the comments below. All right guys, that does it for this week's edition of New Makeup Sunday. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please don't forget to hit the like button. And also, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below what your favorite products were this week and what you'd like to see me do reviews on. I'm actually wearing some of the products on my face today. I'm using the Mally Beauty Let It Snow palette. I also used one of the, um, the shadow stick in the shade Timeless Taupe underneath the eyeshadow as a base and then I applied the eyeshadow palette on top and I'm also wearing that little set from Doll 10 with the little cream blush and the lipstick on my lips and cheeks today and I have to say I am loving them so far. The um, cream blush was really really nice to work with. It wasn't one of those sticky cream blushes. It dries down completely and it's a really beautiful natural color as well and then the lipstick feels so incredibly comfortable. I'm in love with the color so really liking everything that I tried so far but um, again if you want to see more reviews on it going forward definitely let me know. So anyway guys thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend and I will see you next week hopefully if I'm not sick. See you guys later.